everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Survival from Python's Run. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. I am doing absolutely fantastic, you know, pay fever aside and all of that kind of stuff. So if you hear a little sniffle here and there, then I do apologize. But uh, yeah, it is what it is, I guess. So guys, since the last episode, I have been busy hard at work trying to get as much of this uh, Guardian Farm done as possible. You can see that we have ourselves a few more areas uh, filled in with ice and fence gates which is obviously really really cool uh, i've just been sort of slogging away at the task in hand off camera so yeah hopefully over the next few episodes we should be able to get things going and looking good now in today's episode i'd like to do two things first of all uh, you know what i think will hopefully not take the whole episode is trying to figure out where the guardians are going to filter down to we're going to try and figure out the killing chamber and all that kind of stuff uh, or more to the point bring them down to a one shot they get xp from them all that my friend is would be fantastic oh yes it would so yeah we're going to figure out the killing chamber and then what we're going to do is we are going to gear ourselves up for a weird and wonderful dragon fight hopefully in the coming episodes that is why my friends we are going to finally put the pedal to the metal and you know go for the dragon that is why i want access to shulker boxes because those bad boys are going to be absolutely essential yes for you know, speeding up the process of these freaking Guardian farms. It will be fantastic. So, guys, if you're excited for this episode, as always, a like rating would be very much appreciated. 2,000 likes would be the goal. So, guys, thank you very much in advance if you decide to do that. This torch area here is the absolute center of all of this area you know the guardian farms combined all that kind of stuff this is the absolute center so this is going to be where the guardians are going to fill it down to now we're going to do it underwater sort of kind of we're going to make ourselves a bit of a glass tube and hopefully have ourselves a nice looking thing but the first thing i want to try and figure out is how many layers of lava i need to bring guardians down to a one shot so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna fiddle around on a creative test world and then once i have uh, you know come up with something cool i will show you guys and then we can replicate it on python's road let's do it all right guys so we've got ourselves a rudimentary testing area here now currently the lava is three blocks tall so if we were to go ahead and drop oh wait we should probably like get ourselves an actual difficulty going here so there we go we've got this guy going in and uh sir you need to like actually go down yes die potato right now then uh i have got absolutely no idea how much how much health this guy has so when he comes down here boom okay so we're gonna need ourselves another blocks worth of lava and this is basically how we're gonna test this thing uh so let's go ahead and kill that guy in fact let's just go ahead and put it back on peaceful uh then put it back on easy and let's drop ourselves in another guardian so this is now four blocks tall uh can we do this thing go on go on Go on, you know you want to go in. There you go. So that's now four blocks tall. Oh, that like immediately killed it. Uh-huh. So three blocks tall doesn't bring him down to a one shot, but four blocks tall kills it. Uh-huh. Interesting stuff. Okay, so maybe we have it three blocks tall, and then we just sort of go with that, and then we use ourselves a sword. Uh, the sword in which, of course, we'll have, like, sweeping edge and all that kind of stuff. So uh, if I just make myself a decent sword here real quick, and then we try this bad boy out again. Let's go and put, like, uh, six of them in there. Let's see what happens here. So we've got six guardians going in, and they'll go down. They'll put themselves out. Oh, this guy's, like, actually swimming in lava. Okay, that was interesting. I haven't seen that happen before. But anyways, uh, yeah, we're here they all are. Boom. Yeah, that seems to have done it. Uh, mostly. Uh-huh. I think what we need to do is make the drop taller so they have no chance of, like, swimming up the lava. All right, let's try that again. So look, we're going to make this taller and we'll see what happens. Alrighty guys, so the actual drop is now five blocks until we get to the lava. So once again, uh, we'll put like four of them in there this time. Hopefully all four actually go down. Yep, okay, looking pretty good so far. Drop down, little broskies. Okay, so yeah, all four of them are now down here. So, boom, kill the ball. Hmm, yeah, I don't know, man. Maybe try putting the fourth layer of lava back in? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. We're just trying to figure out the killing mechanism at this point, if you haven't 
you know, being able to tell already. Like, I want to make sure I get the most amount of efficiency out of this. So here we go. We're going to try four blocks again. Four blocks, four blocks, four blocks, four blocks. Yeah, it just immediately kills them. That's not what we're looking for. Dang it, man. Hmm. Yeah, and then this guy's, like, actually trying to swim. Yeah. Okay, it's going to have to be three blocks, isn't it? Alrighty, guys. So after quite some experimentation and playing around with these guys, I think I've come up with something that could actually work. It is rather tall, I must say. Uh, but uh, for the most part, it seems to work really, really well. Everybody who gets down to the bottom here is pretty much one shot, as you guys can see there. So we have indeed gone for the four lava sources, but I've decided to split them up so they continue dropping as they go along. And well, statistically speaking, I'll be monitoring the guardians and uh, a lot of them don't wind up swimming back up a one block tall lava source. So let's go do three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's have a look. All right, so all of these guys are now dropping down, and let's say that this is like a typical volume of guardians from one of the guardian farms. Now. Now, obviously, some of them do swim up. Some of them, uh, you know, will drop their drops and they'll go into the lava and be destroyed. But for the most part, a lot of them do manage to get down here. Now, as you can see, as opposed to just dropping them down onto a flat surface, I've got them all dropping down onto just hoppers with water. And that means they all stay in place. So I could just do this. Boom! I mean, come on, man. The XP. The XP for days. Right, there's one thing I do want to check out, though. Is there, like, a large amount of XP, like, spare of the side here? Like, inside the hoppers? Uh, I mean, at a glance, no. They all seem to be, like, being pushed against here, which is actually absolutely fantastic because it means we don't lose any XP, even though we don't have carpets on top of the hoppers, right? So that's kind of epic. And this is mostly the shape we're going to be going for. So imagine, uh, you know, over this way is the actual area where the Guardians are spawning. They funnel down. They will drop down underwater, which will then bring them down to a one shot. And then they bring themselves over to a central area, right? So yeah, this is pretty much exactly what I'm looking for. And then obviously on the opposite side will be the opposite Guardian farm, bringing them over to a central area. So yeah. Like I say, my friends, yes, there is a little bit of loss here, but for the most part, considering it's going to be double Guardian Fubs, I think we are going to be totally fine. I think we're going to be absolutely totally fine. Tickety boo and peachy. Oh, yes. There you go. Go on. Down you go. You'll love to see it. And then they all drop down again into Le water, and then boom, dead. It's so simple, guys. Even a baby could do it. It's amazing. All right. All we got to do is try and replicate this on Python's world. Let's do it. All right, guys. So the first job here, of course, is going ahead and extending out the water flow here. So all we're doing is placing in some dirt. And then very, very simply, we're going to get rid of it. So it's then clear. I mean, obviously, I could use sponges. Uh, but I can't remember where I put them, I'll be honest with you guys. So, yeah, anyways, uh, that's looking pretty good. All we've got to do now is get the water flow in. Uh, let's grab another water source there. Place that one in there. And, yeah, this will eventually become the drop area. That is right. We're going to drop the guardians down through a bit of a lava blade. In fact, let me just, uh... Oh, okay, so that's pretty much going to be neighboring. In fact, almost exactly neighboring the freaking, uh, thing here. The conduit. Well, thankfully, it doesn't, like, actually, like, rid it of any description. So, that's kind of cool, I guess. But there we go, my friends. The water flow, it's starting to get there. All we need to do now is make ourselves some more blue stained glass or light blue stained glass. And then we can actually make ourselves the drop chute. Uh, and, of course, we do have access to the nether. So, we've got easy access to lava, which is very useful for our course. So, yeah. We're looking pretty good, guys. Right, let's grab some more dyes out and let's continue on. Ah, it has been a while since I've been here, my friends. The gravel biome. That is right. I mean, obviously, we're going to need ourselves probably a full inventory's worth of this to keep us going for a while with our project. So, yeah. Oh, man. I really cannot wait to have access to shulker boxes. I could grab myself like seven shulker boxes worth of this stuff and not even break a sweat. It would be so good, my friends. <sighs> I can't wait. I can't wait to work on the uh, freaking dragon. Well, guys, I'll tell you something. Ever since starting the Minecraft Hardcore series, which, again, if you guys haven't checked it out already, you probably should, because it's actually kind of awesome. Uh, I've actually increased the render distance that I play at now. I think it's on, like, 24... Yeah, 24 chunks. I can see so much more of what's going on in the world now. It's amazing. Look over there. 
to the left hand side there is a freaking savannah amplified biome and if you look way in the freaking distance over there there's a desert biome with a village which is kind of epic if you ask me so yeah I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of enjoying this, playing on a very high render distance. My PC can handle it. I mean, so why the heck not, right? <laughs> I love it. I love it. Alrighty, uh, guys. So after quite some time again, I managed to grab myself both a full inventory's worth of gravel and a full inventory's worth of sand to make myself a bunch more white concrete. So we're back in action and things are looking good. So we need to go ahead and figure out just how tall this shoot is going to be. I do have the reference image from my creator world to the side of me here and by the looks of it at a quick count it's gonna be uh quite a lot basically uh so i'm counting one two three and then the first lava source okay so that's four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirty four fifteen blocks down i believe so from this point it'll be not, uh, 15 blocks there's one there two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve uh ah 13 14 15 and then yeah i guess the uh, i guess the conduit is kind of part of it i mean we'll just have to move it uh later down the line but uh, for now my friends we are still looking pretty darn well and thankfully we could still have this going as a full conduit which is nice so yes all right so let's continue on gotta bring all of this down to the correct level where it's nice and flat yep there we go and then of course one more pillar then we can start getting in all of the glass uh and then after that we can get the lava and the signs and all that kind of stuff and then after that we can do other things as well so yeah all right guys let's grab the lava let's grab ourselves some other things let's clear out this area and yeah let's see what we can do here all right guys so the first lava source is two blocks down from the drop so that would be here so what we need to do is place down the signs which will of course uh hold up the lava and then we just need to actually place the bad boys in so yeah let's make ourselves a little drop going down here and then all we gotta do is boom and then do the other three ah do the other three lava sources as well preferably without burning ourselves uh, that is uh, ill-advised, to say the very, very least. But, uh, oh well, we could just drop down into the water. <laughs> ah, fantastic. All right, well, there's the first of the four lava layers in. Let's get the other ones in, and hopefully we can get the underwater tunnel section done. And then we need to make ourselves an area under the center here, where both Guardian farms are going to funnel to. So, let's see what we can do, huh? Alrighty guys, so check it out, literally right above us, we could just about see the torches, or the bottom of the torches, poking through the glass up there, so what that means is we actually need to get rid of these two blocks here, and then we have found our drop chute here, this is the drop chute, this 2x2 two two area that I am now digging out, uh, so, oh, <laughs> There seems to be a bit of a conglomeration of iron golems beneath the water surface here. I feel like that could eventually become a problem, but uh, for now, my friendos, I think we're just about okay. So, uh, all we got to do is make sure we bring the tunnel over in this direction. We need to get the walls in real quick. There we go. Uh, to tell you the truth, I'm pretty tempted to just let the water source flow down here. And then, of course, yeah, we'll have ourselves uh, some signs to hold the water back, right? So, yeah. All right, so let's get rid of this. Uh, I think it'd be a cool idea to block off this section here. This will be where the opposite Guardian Farm comes to. And then we could potentially do a little decoration thingy here. Uh, one, two, three. There we go. So there we go. There's the drop shoot there, my friends. Looking very, very cool. Right. Uh, should we do a little thing down here? Boom, 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 boom. Yep. And we'll do the same on this side as well. Uh, get rid of this. And one, two, three, four. There we go. Hey, a nice looking drop shoot. And once again, we need to like block that off temporarily. And then we can get the walls in this side as well. And, you know, drain the inside of the tunnel. And then, yeah, we should be good to go in terms of this particular drop shoot. Uh, we've got the lava figured out. We just need to get the actual collection area sorted out, right? Alrighty, so the signs, like I say, will hold back the water flow as long as I don't go down there myself. Right, okay, looking pretty good. We can put some more torches down here as well. And... And ladies and gentlemen, believe it or not, that is the water flow system all sorted out for this uh, Guardian Farm here. Uh, like I say, all we need to do is figure out the kill chamber. All right, so yeah, this might be easier said than done, though. We do have a little bit of a lacking of space issue down here. But uh, so far, so good. Things are looking good. I like it. 
All right. I'm liking the uh, I'm liking the white and the blue. I think they look very very nice together. I really really do. Uh, so yeah, we can get a couple more blocks in there like that. And yeah, boy, looking good. Oh, all right. We're making some serious progress today, my friendos. Right. Let's grab ourselves some hoppers and some chests and some various other bits and bobs, and we can get this thing rolling. Alrighty, right, guys. So there's the chest. Let's get some hoppers placed in. If we can, that is. There we go. Right, that should all be correctly done. And what we need to do now is try to actually figure out the killing mechanism. Uh, I may need to refer back to my creative world, actually, real quick. Uh, just to make sure I have everything right. So give me just a second here, my friendos. A lot of admin type stuff's going on here today. But it's all in the name of science and efficiency and epicness. Yes, that's what it is. So yeah, there we go. So two water sources at the back there. Uh, we are on the same level as the hoppers. And uh, yeah, all shall be well. Okay, so let's go back onto Python's world. And we can do some awesome stuff. Here. So I hope you guys don't mind me doing a little bit of sort of, uh, you know, admin type stuff in episodes. I think it's always good to be able to show you guys exactly what it is uh, I'm doing with each step of this process here. So let's go ahead and do that. And then all I need to do is like sort of contain a room, I guess. Uh, so let's grab out some of these uh, dark bits here. Rather like that. And then we should be able to make ourselves a tiny room. And then just do some epic stuff, I guess. So yeah, give me just a second, guys. I'm going to try and drain out this room real quick. Oh my god. <laughs> I think there's a zombie siege going on, my friends. So one of the bugs that has been fixed for 1.14.3 is the lacking of zombie siege events that go on in villages. But, uh, yeah, due to that spamming of sounds, I now have a bunch of dudes to kill. Hey, man, I appreciate the free XP. <laughs> Oh, yeah. XP for days. Hey, man, I appreciate the uh, the reparation of this pickaxe here. <laughs> oh, you love to see it. You really freaking do. I do like the fact that zombie sieges are back. It's a good source of XP. But in my opinion, what should happen is uh, you should get yourself like a small hero of the village effect after defeating one. So maybe just hero of the village one or something like that. Just for a tiny bit of a reward, I'd say. So, yeah. But anyways, back to the draining of this little room down here. Uh, but okay, so believe it or not, we have it all done. All that's left to do at this point is add in the water sources, rather like so. And then the guardians will always be pushed up against these blocks here. And therefore, the XP will be a lot easier to get. So, yeah, for now, as a temporary measure, I do have a way of getting in just by, like, through a window. Although, to be honest with you, I could just go ahead and go in through the bottom, right? It's like, if I just get rid of that entirely... I can just go up here. Yeah. Smarty pants. Oh, I like it when I'm smart. But believe it or not, guys, that is it for the killing chamber and collection system for the first guardian farm. All that is left to do, my friends, is we just need to place in the rest of the ice, the rest of the fence gates. It's going to take a long time. It really, really is, guys. I really... I don't even think I could get it done in a single live stream. Like, we're going to need an unholy amount of ice, which is why, like I say, from next episode onwards, we are going for the dragon. So, to finish off today, my friends, now that we have the collection and killing system done, we are going to make ourselves a full set of leather armor, and we are going to grab ourselves a crossbow, enchant them all at level 30 standard, and that, my friends, will be the gear we go in with for this particular dragon fight. The leather armor should prove a little bit of a challenge. In terms of taking lots of damage. Uh, but uh, yeah guys. Yeah. It's going to be an interesting time. Oh yes it is. Thankfully, we have ourselves quite a lot of freaking uh, leather from killing all the cows back on the island. So, all is looking well. So, guys, I'm going to clear up my inventory and we're going to do this thing. Alrighty, guys. So, there is the blank crossbow. Don't mind if I do. And then, of course, all we've got to do is get back up to the house and we can make ourselves the full set of leather armor. And, yeah, we're going to give them all one enchant. That is the limit. Rather similar to the gold armor challenge we did before. And, yeah, after that, we can have ourselves a really good amount of fun that is right my friend so uh there's the leggings and there are the boots so we need what pff, to do five loads of 30 enchants it'll be 30 33 36 39 we need 42 levels to do all five items and then of course we need to pick up all of the arrows or you know consolidate all of the arrows we have in our world and that will be our supply i guess so yeah all right 
42 levels. Oh, blimey. All right, well, probably the furnaces and breeding and villager trading will be a good start. So let's see what we can do, huh? Well, guys, after some preparations, we have some various things ready. We're going to be allowing ourselves the use of golden apples and golden carrots for food. And I've also allowed myself the use of a wooden sword. So, yeah, and there's the sponges from before, which, of course, is probably going to be useful later down the line. So what we also need to do, of course, like I say, is consolidate our supply of arrows. But for now, it's time, guys. It is time to see what we can get with the various enchants. Huh? So, protection four is a very, very good start. Blast protection, that is a very good start. Let's take ourselves a little bit of that. We have fire protection, unbreaking. Sharpness four is a good one to go for. Uh, so, let's go for sharpness four. Why not? Knockback, that is good for Enderman. Don't mind if I do. Piercing four is pretty darn good. Now, here's what I don't want. I actually don't want multi-shot for the reason that there would be a statistical more chance of us hitting an enderman accidentally with our arrows uh, than if we didn't have multi-shot. So yeah, there's respiration, uh, protection three, and I'm breaking. Ooh, feather falling four would have been sure nice. All right, what else do we got? That's pretty good, and that is pretty good as well. So there we go, my friends. This is our dragon loadout for our second dragon challenge of this entire series. Leather armor, a wooden sword, a crossbow with as many arrows as we could possibly get. I mean, you know, we've got a whole bunch like dotted around in the chests, I guess. Uh, so it would just be a case of trying to find them and grab them out. Right. There, oh, look at that. More than a stack. Absolutely beautiful. And then we could probably just kill a bunch of skeletons along the way as well. Okay, but there it is, my friends. There's our loadout for our dragon fight. Uh, yeah, next episode, we'll go looking for a stronghold. But for now, my friends, let's grab ourselves the comment question of the video book and let's end off this episode, huh? Alrighty, guys, time to end with the comment question of the video. Minecraft is better than Fortnite, great name, by the way, says, Hey, Python, I was wondering if you were alternating between Python's world and your hardcore series every day. Thanks for the great videos. As always, buddy, thank you very much for the kind comments. And yeah, pretty much. I mean, for the most part, Python's World is still the priority series. So if I don't feel like recording hardcore on one day, then I will likely do Python's World instead. But at the moment, I'm rather enjoying both series. So yeah, at the moment, we are just alternating. But sometimes you might see like two Python's World, then one hardcore. Or, you know, it might just be Python's World hardcore, Python's World hardcore. You know, that kind of stuff right there. So yeah, hopefully you guys are okay with that. For the most part, we're just just alternated them but every now and again you might see a couple pythons world back to back like usual so yeah guys for now though it is time for me to end off this episode guys thank you very much for watching that was a bit of a squeak if you enjoyed today's episode a like rating would be very much appreciated hit the subscribe button and ding that bell if you guys don't want to miss out on future content but for now my friends i want to bid you farewell thank you very much for watching have a fantastic rest of your day as always and i will see you guys in the next episode